Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and this is Factorio using the C-Block mod pack and this game has consumed my life. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling the obsession here. I wake up every day, I think about this game, I go to work, I come back home, I play the game, I go to bed, tomorrow is the same as the next day, as the previous day. Anyway, so last time we set up copper, lead, and zinc smelting, and zinc was tricky. I had to do a lot of, uh, a lot of gymnastics to get that to work out. It's still not quite working the way I want it to, but, oh well. We should put some more lights down. They don't matter as much now that we have the, um, now that we have, what's it called? The night vision goggles. But, you know, it still matters somewhat. Is there anything else we could be putting in there to benefit us? Like, is double night vision worth it? I don't think so. We need to unlock more stuff. Anyway, so we need to do, let's see. We did, we've done iron, tin, copper, lead, and zinc. We need to do silicon, nickel, cobalt, and silver, and those will be easy. They're just going to be a, a blast furnace, um, just ore coming in, a blast furnace going down. Um, <laughs> ore coming into a blast furnace, ingots going down. Gold and aluminum are going to be tricky. They're going to need the chlorine, the sodium hydroxide, but we'll do the other, f other four first. We're going to need more room eventually. Maybe I shouldn't put these so far north. I kind of just, I wasn't sure how much space I'd need. Oh well, let's leave it alone for now. This is my ongoing quest to turn every bit of slag I dredge out from the ocean to into a transport uh, panel. Transport belt. Anyway, so... I think this, is, this isn't going to be mirrored. Like, these we tried to do in, bear, in pairs, but they're really doesn't work here very well. Let's instead just do two pairs that are going to be completely, that are going to look differently than this. So, but I like, I like, okay, let's um, lay a pattern out just for this. I like this, this look. So, Well, it's, it's going to be backwards. Ah, we can just do it ourselves. No, we don't need the... don't need that. Never mind. Okay, we can make this happen. Out of my way. Okay, it's going to be... Uh, going down, there will be the new ingots. I want them to be kind of level the existing ones, so right there is where we're going to join. Or no, that's when we're going to make the turn. We'll join uh, two spaces back. Right? Yeah. Like that. All right. And it's a blast furnace, right? Uh, what's the next one? Silicon. It needs carbon, and it also needs carbon to power. So that's not a concern. So we'll bring the raw ore in right there. Uh, how far apart are those? We should make us so another single hot pool. We could just bring them right jar, I suppose. But this is better. This will be the... What's it? Uh, can we just branch off? No, no, let's bring it in again. Uh, 
out of belts. Okay, let's go back and get some more transport belts. Where's my car? I would have thought there'd be more iron produced now that we cleared some space. But these are still backed up, apparently, because that's nickel and silicon, yeah. And that's still backed up from copper. Oh well. Anything here? No, you already stole all the iron. Hmm. So much of our base is just kind of sitting. There's uh, not much to do. Everything's waiting for consumption that hasn't happened yet. This should be backing up though, because all the science is done. Well, all the green science is done. Come back with my car. Let's just extend these so I know where we're going to need to hop. This will be the new one. It'll also make it prettier. These gaps look weird with nothing in the middle. All right. Er. Wait a minute, that's not right. No, that's right. That's fine. That's fine.
And we're already out of belts. Wow. We burned through that quick. Let's make some space while we're waiting for the rest of it to replenish. Maybe kill some worms. Yeah, three big ones. No, no, it's just, it's just two big ones, not a medium. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Stop it. I'm trying to fish, man. So eventually we're gonna have a turn. Kind of my plan right now. The way I'm thinking about this layout. Really? You're attacking me? Oh, I should deal with you, shouldn't I? Ah, uh, I don't really have enough. I don't really have the piercing rounds. Oh, I don't want to bother with you right now. We'll deal with you some other time. When we have more piercing rounds. But kind of my plan is that we're gonna get all these ingots and we're gonna have all this ore. And we're going to convert all the ingots into, well, probably more like out here. We're going to convert all the ingots into plates. Because you don't need ingots for anything. You'll need ore for other things. Then all the plates will go north. The, the, the fuel sources and the ore will wrap around. And then we'll start cutting back across the top of our base. Like this. And this will be our new main line. Which will have all the ore and all the plates. And then we can start building things off north in order to uh, get specific components. Probably we'll have a large set of pipes that will be a pipe bus, like we tried to do at one point back down here, which is so messy we can't even drive in it right now. But um, when we get to cracking oil or coal cracking into oil, we're gonna need pipes. Uh, we're gonna need like a lot of stuff going on that way. If that made any sense at all, a lot of stuff going on that way. What, what am I saying? Anyway. Okay, so this is the output for silicon ingots. And we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it right there. This is the input for silicon ore. Which is that? No, that's silicon ore, right? Yeah. And this is carbon. Just for now, we'll put these in chests. It's a terrible, la terrible, lazy thing to do, but.
Uh, the carbon is still back a ways. And there was a, th a fourth one of these, right? Yeah, tin ore. Good to bring down. And this should have been one up. That's actually a little annoying. So we should just uh, make it like this. And then these will hop over. Okay. Where exactly are we going to do this? This is right there. Uh, are we bringing anything in now? Is it coming? Yep, there it is. All right, now we just have to mirror this in the exact other direction. And this will be, what's the next one? Nickel. It just needs carbon again. This thing just needs carbon both as a input and as fuel. So that's convenient. It can double and work as both. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes it just, it does strike me. We're still working with yellow belts. 65 hours in the game? What are we? We are 63 and 45 minutes into the game. We're still working with yellow belts, and we're all eager to get 12... We are all eager to get 12 ore per second. <laughs> One belt of, of ore. I don't know how, how, don't know how many plates it's going to turn into. It probably will be something more like two belts of plates. Which will be great, right? Anyway, we said the next one was nickel. Oh, that needs something else. What does that need? That needed carbon monoxide, right? Which we make from carbon. Right? Did I do that somewhere? No, I didn't. Carbon monoxide is created from carbon and purified water. Okay, so we'll need that purified water that we uh, made over there. Okay, let's do, that. let's do that above. So this is going to... So we'll put it on on this side. So that that's an liquefier. Liquefier too. Yeah. Should we maybe do two of them? That might be safer. Oh, I only have one. Can we make a second one? Yes. Ah, uh, that's gonna be annoying. Let's do them on both sides. So, you are making carbon monoxide from carbon and purified water. For now, let's go ahead and just uh, clarify all the saline away. Get that purified water flowing. Anyway. It's not reading anything in. Anyway.
out of blues. We have plenty of uh, circuits. We can just make a few of them. For now. Okay, nickel ore right here. Where is the nickel ore? That one. Right? No. No, that's not it. This one. That's nickel ore. We're gonna need more of those and more of many things. All right, and this is coming back down. And starting right here, a new line. Let's just make sure this is working. It's got, it has carbon monoxide available, but it's not reading it into the thing. I can never figure out why it doesn't always read into the thing yet. But it seems like it, it will, like as soon as it has a chance to run or something. I don't know. This isn't even running, this outside one. No, this is David. All right. Let's go resupply. Where's my car? Way over there. Oh wait, no. Well, okay, let's get our car first. Is quite a thing. I think this is probably. I mean, I in, in the base game, I make like these elaborate structures. Um, well, in, interconnected train uh, networks, and those are fun. But I don't think I've ever made like such large freestanding structures like this. Uh, I'm not even using that word right, freestanding. But these large structures that are like this, and uh, and they they have quite a lot of belts in between them and don't use bots. I haven't done something on this scale before. It's fun. Alright, we said we needed more of these. We need a lot more of these. We'll see if there are some belts waiting for us. There's a bunch of them. Good. Yeah, I always do that.
Alright. Let's get this out of the way. Where are my robots? Over here. Oh, I guess we had a lot of things in that box. I didn't realize. Uh, I'll take the picture before. Down. Where is it? There. Ah, uh, the furnaces themselves, of course. And a bit of Piping? You don't need piping. Not this time. Okay, these two are going to be... Cobalt and silver. So, cobalt. Yeah, just just needs just needs cobalt ore and carbon. It's simple, easy. Nothing to worry about. Silver. Where is silver? There. And again, this just needs silver ore. We don't have uh, we don't have the uh, technology to do more complicated processing. So we're not going to get like multipliers in the ore uh, in the silver and cobalt areas. We're not even trying to do manganese or anything like that, which is probably a bad idea. We probably should be pl planning for the future more than we are. And let's just save some, uh, let's, let's save some belts by just splitting this off right here. So this is incoming, what is this? Cobalt, cobalt ore right here. Is that one I think, right? The really deep blue. Actually, we should make that skip in our spot. There we go. And let's get this into the machine. There's our cobalt ingots. This is silver. So silver ingots right here. Or silver ore right here. Similarly, this will be the new silver right there, so. That's the silver ore.
Oh wait, no, this will be on this side, so we didn't need to skip a spot. Okay, we don't really have enough belts, so let's just extend this a little bit. Oh, we messed up somewhere. How'd that happen? Off by one, perhaps? Okay, it worked just fine. This is shaping up. I'm liking this. Now that we got the, the actual belts there instead of just these empty uh, undergrounds, it looks so much better. And it's much easier to understand what we're trying to do. These are the last two, gold and aluminum. Or, right? Yeah, gold and aluminum. Those are the last ones. We'll get to them in time. Uh, let's deal with these first. Or my fish there. They can't reach. Why are you hitting me? I put a sacrificial one. Hmm. All right, more land. This is two. This isn't a problem. Uh, we're almost out of, land, out of uh, landfill. Let's just leave this for now. How far does this go out? Uh, probably not enough for another two. And the other two are going to be complicated anyway. But we can start out with that basic pattern. So let's just put that down. Just close enough. 
Yeah, you guys deal with that. I'm gonna go do a supply run. Ooh, let's, let's fix that up. That'd be a shame to lose all that ore. Oh, that's out of power. Just throw some carbon in it. Uh, we need more undergrounds. Let's, um... Let's see if we can just, uh, make them from actual belt rather than having to, uh, build the belt manually. We're gonna need more of these two. All right. But yeah, this is not how I play the game usually. Usually I, I have like a single area that builds all the things I need that's being supplied by lots of little scattered around sub-bases. Like a little sub-factory that makes solar panels, one that makes circuits, one that makes steel, that sort of thing that all gets kind of pulled together. Instead, this it's like we're trying to do that. We have like little modules, but they just keep going. It's like there's no, there's no, there's no all bringing it back together into a central area. It all just uh, progresses. Except for the times when we drive a, a, a car full of uh, random ore back. So, this is going to be... What's the next one? Gold? Gold ore. Which needs chlorine. And this is aluminum. Which is going to be tricky because it needs alumina. So the alumina we get from one of these. So maybe maybe we did this backwards. Maybe we should flip these around and have the output be like this. Or because we're getting it from electrolyzers, and I kind of don't want to run well. I guess we could do it that way. That'll work too. Sure. So this this doesn't need this. This needs a one to one. With something making alumina. Aluminum hydrox which needs aluminum hydroxide. which we get in powder mixers. So this will be supplied uh, somewhat annoyingly. Powder mixers, do we have them already? Doesn't look like it, but we can make them. We worked out how many we needed, right? We needed... Just two. And 
and powder mixers are going to need a, the ore, the ore itself, and quite, well, not, not in that big a number. It's a six speed thing, so, but sodium hydroxide is going to be more annoying. So I think we're going to have the sodium hydroxide come in like that, and this entire side will be ore. And then we'll output onto this belt. So the sodium hydroxide we get from electrolyzing saline water up there, which also produces the chlorine we need. So, you know, it's all convenient that way. Uh, let's, let's do like that since we're using both sides of the belt. I like that. That looks so much better. Don't need pipes. Why am I doing this? Bots. Get to work, man. Bots. And they still think they need a pipe thing. There. Okay. We have electrolyzers somewhere there. These are electrolyzing saline water. Ah, uh, let's, let's put them further apart. One, two, three. To create the sodium hydroxide. And also chlorine and hydrogen, which we don't need. Remember back when we never had enough pipes? And we were constantly going back for pipes? Those were good times. Now it's all belts. Pipes were easier to get. <laughs> That's demanding of the ore. Okay, so we are going to load this in right there. Well, we should just load it in right there. We'll switch this pattern up a little. This doesn't need to go past. Uh, now we need to get the sodium hydroxide down to there. I guess we could go down this side and then go over. So these are going to keep going. This will keep going up. That was a really bad place to put that. It's kind of messy. I kind of wish I left more space between the two. It would broke the pattern, but you know. But this is an awful lot of open space. Eventually we'll need it because we'll be doing processing. But for now it just looks ugly. Okay. Let's start hooking things up. So this is going to be the gold ore. Wait a minute, do we? So, we're producing 11 metals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
Oh, that's really annoying. It's g the aluminum's gonna be all by itself. Hmm. Should we change that? Try to... We got any alumina for other things? Perhaps. Polishing compound for rubies, which we'll make ad hoc. Filters, we already used that. Oh, we're gonna, no we're not. This is if we were, this is like Bob's Mods version of electrolyzers, which we don't do. We'll need it for cement. That might be worth keeping around, maybe? It need more electrolyzers, and that needs more basic circuits. Oh well, let's not worry about it for now. But eventually, let's double this up. So it won't be like this. It'll be straight down to here, and then that will go up. Why is it all dark? Why is it... Oh, there you go. The game doesn't always handle dusk that well. All right. Uh, then these get output. I should have left a space in between them. Oh well. Actually, we can fix it. We'll make it like this. And that'll be it going down. I like it. We've salvaged this. Okay, we're going to need more of the uh, carbon here, though. And we didn't leave ourselves a lot of room for that, fortunately. So this thing. Well, you're the, you're the one interfering, so you get to go under. You know, I just made it so sodium hydroxide is being passed around. I wanted to make it so alumina was. Or aluminum hydroxide. And there's nothing to do with that except for turning into alumina. <laughs> so that wasn't the right thing to do. I do think I want alumina though, so we just need to set this up differently. I don't need more than these. That was a waste of steel making those. Okay, and we wanted to pull... There's not a lot of space for it.
I guess we could do something like this. Kind of messy, kind of messy, but I'm, I'm liking it. It's working. Uh, that's not working as well. No, that works fine. Then they'll be on both sides. I like it. Okay. So this will be the alumina, aluminum ingots. This will be the alumina. We have brought those down way too far. A alumina. This is the gold ore? Gold uh, ingots. And we leave a gap of two. And that's where the first one goes. There. Okay, so the input to this is aluminum or We never finished this side. Was this named silver ore? Or gold ore, gold ore. happened my computer randomly lost the focus of the game but it didn't like it, it I still was looking at the game but my mouse oh my uh, my keyboard keys were not working anymore instead they were like working on my Windows desktop or something I don't know Windows why are you being so weird and why is this not working because we haven't hooked up the chlorine yet right now we hooked up the chlorine is this not we haven't hooked up the sailing. Ah. That's going to annoy me all the time. Ah. Now we can walk between it. And we'll switch this to a overflow. And the purified to an overflow also on this side. Ah. Uh. One back more. That was the whole point of moving the flare stacks, so that we could put this one back more. That just didn't occur to me. All right. We'll need the same sort of overflow with the chlorine, I'm sure. Uh, but this will be a flare stack, right? Do I have another one? No, I don't. I can make one. Okay, that's working. This is not, because we haven't hooked up the ore yet. So aluminum... 
is right here. So most of it's just going straight over. We don't need this much. And we have some aluminum ingots. There we go. That's all the different ingots. Now we just need to uh, start melting them in various combinations. Now we need to pull all the ore forward too, but we can wait for that. I, well, all the rest, all, that's already done, but these need to be pulled forward too. Anyway, let's uh, deliver some more iron back to our main, back to our first smelter area. Breaking our obligatory underground, uh, <laughs> underground pipe, like we, as always. Good. Plenty of transport belts. Not enough undergrounds, but that's fine. We can make some more. And we couldn't do things before because we needed these. I don't remember what we were trying to do, but now we have them. I need more blues. Might need more long-handed. I'm not sure. We're definitely... Oh, we could actually start doing... I, I, For some reason, I was thinking we didn't have the electronic circuit boards yet. But we don't have enough of them to use them on random stack inserters. For now, it's, it's, just, it's easier just to do multiple fast. Anyway... Nope, nope. Oh, we always get one. <laughs> okay. And we need more blast furnaces. We have seven, but we're going to need more. Um, need stones. Need more room too. Let's pick up some more landfill.
Remember when we were handcrafting all the landfill? Instead of coming back to our back back to here randomly and finding ten thousand landfill waiting for us. Good times. Good times. Oh, we've got tons of the underground ones now. Nice. Um, rocks, stones. That's what I was looking for. How's mineralized doing? Been a while since we had to worry about it. Seems good. This is all nicely backed up. Power? Ooh, it looks like we're having starting to have some troubles. The flotation cell is all activated when we extended the uh, when we extended the the lines. Interesting. We are definitely going to need a lot more. Yeah, look at that. Look how look how far how early it starts using this. Well, that's going to be a focus next time, I think. We're going to have to lay out some more solar panels. Okay. I think I'm going to call a break there. We're over the hour. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. My name is Michael Young, and this is Factorio using the C-Block Mod Pack. Thank you.